Hey everybody, Joe Joseph here for TheDailySheeple.com and this is your new shot activist post saying, warning, TSA facial recognition plan likely to become part of a growing biometric surveillance system. Now we've seen this deployed in smart cities, uh, especially in the Middle East, uh, this emerging technology. It says here the federal government plans to use a TSA program advertised as a way to avoid lines at airport security checkpoints to harvest photos and other biometric information that will ultimately end up in multiple federal databases. The TSA touts its pre-check program as a way to avoid the hassle of security screening. Members of the program, of course, do not have to remove their shoes and their laptops and their liquids and their belts and their jackets, which, of course, you know if you've been through airport securities, I mean, just it's incredibly cumbersome. It yields very little results. It doesn't stop anything. TSA fails repeatedly all of these uh, checks because it just doesn't, I mean, come on. And according to the uh, Electronic Frontiers Foundation, the Department of Homeland Security has developed the, the program with a broader purpose in mind, and that pre-check will facilitate the collection of facial images and iris scans to be put into a biometric database that then will be shared with other federal agencies and even private corporations. That's amazing. It collects fingerprints, of course, during the application process. Now, over the summer, there was a pilot program that was was started in Atlanta, of Delta's hub, using fingerprints to verify passengers' identities. And the TSA now wants to roll out a program, this, this program out to airports across the country and expand it to include, again, all your biometric data. Okay? So... A little history on this. In 2014, it says the, the FBI rolled out uh, the nation, National Facial Recognition Program. And according to information obtained by Georgetown Law last year, the Next Generation Identification Interstate Photo System already contains some 25 million state and federal criminal photos, mostly mugshots shared by state and local law enforcement agencies. Now, these photos remain in the system even if a court never convicts the individual of a crime. It remains unclear what kind of Other types of photos end up in this database. But you can almost guarantee that any photos going into a federal database, like uh, PreCheck, will definitely end up there. And the scary thing about all this, too, is that they also include the language that their private partners will also have access to the gathered information by the TSA. Listen to this quote. This is from EFF, the Electronic Frontiers Foundation. It says, for example, TSA PreCheck program has already expanded outside the airport context. The vendor for PreCheck, a company called Endemia, formerly MorphoTrust, what a weird name, now offers expedited entry for PreCheck approved travelers at concerts and stadiums across the country. Listen to that. So you think that it just has to do with uh, air travel. It doesn't. Now think about this in the context of being able to limit people from doing things or living life because now if, if it starts moving from airports to bus stations to train stations to concerts to stadiums that are equipped with this biometric-based technology, And by the way, this company isn't just using it for security purposes, right? They're also using it for augmented reality. So now just think about this. You go to this state-of-the-art stadium, and I'll give you an example. Dallas has a new billion-dollar stadium, state-of-the-art. Walt Disney World, a um, resort that and an amusement park that uses cutting-edge biometric, real-time facial recognition, system to create that augmented reality experience. So you're walking down the stadium and everything else, and they may have like, say, flat screens or even holographic stuff as time goes on. And you're walking down the concourse or wherever, and you walk by a a stand and boop, something pops up. And because that facial recognition or because that biometric detection system recognizes who you are, then they can advertise instantly to your preferences, tailor it, customize it. And also, 
pay attention to what you're buying, what you're doing, what you're selling. You're talking about 24-7 being under the thumb of Big Brother. That's where we're headed. And then you start to think about people talking about chips and everything else and Mark of the Beast being a chip in your hand. No, I'm sorry. They don't need to do that. That chip is already well obsolete, long gone. You don't even need a chip anymore. You don't need a cell phone, per se, anymore. Because as this biometric system expands, and as cameras become more prevalent, and video surveillance more prevalent, and monitoring in all these places, because it'll happen, right? Next thing you know, they'll be in shopping malls, and then they'll be in supermarkets, and then they'll be in schools, and they'll be in churches. Because of all these attacks, right? They, if you notice, church attack, church attack. Okay, well, now we'll just put these in churches. Now we'll, these cameras, say a surveillance system in a private church, could be tied into the database if it's internet connected in Buffdale and, or any other place, and they can have instant access to it. And through this biometric database, real-time monitoring. It's unbelievable. And when you talk about a timeline, we're here. It's here now. So how bad will it be in five years, in 10 years? All you got to do is look at how we've advanced in the last 10 years and then speed it up. And I can tell you, I am, I can't even visualize where we'll be in 10 years because of how fast and how dynamic our reality is at this point. I'm Joe Joseph. This was the DailySheeple.com's News Shot. Feel free to comment below and visit our website at thedailysheeple.com. Hashtag wake the flock up. Have a great day, everybody. 